Hey everyone, in today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll be going over a basic combinatorics problem where we've got a little bit of overlap in our information, which is going to make things just a little bit tricky. This is a viewer requested video. I took the problem straight from the request, just changed some of the numbers a little bit. Always appreciate those requests, so be sure to leave yours down in the comments. Alright, let's get into our problem. The problem takes place in India. We've got a village of 150 people. <clears throat> 70 of these people are subscribed to the Samaja, which is a daily newspaper in Odisha, India. 35 people are subscribed to Daritri, another daily newspaper, and 15 people are subscribed to the Samaja and Daritri. The question we want to answer is how many people subscribe to neither paper? How many people are not subscribed to a paper in this village? Now, the first method that might occur to you, and indeed it's a good one, is you might think if we can figure out how many people are subscribed to a paper, then everybody else in the village is subscribed to no paper, and that number of people is the answer to our question. That reasoning is correct. If we were to represent that in a very simple diagram, you might say this rectangle represents all of our people. It's our village of 150 people. And then, say, the, this shaded part, these are all the people who are subscribed to one of these papers. They could be subscribed to one, they could be subscribed to both. All that matters is they're subscribed to a paper. Then all of these people in here, that's the answer. Those are the people who are subscribed to neither paper. So that's the reasoning we're going to use to solve the problem. Now, the delicate part, of course, is finding that answer correctly, which is sort of the crux of every problem. The reason we have to be a little careful with a problem like this is we don't know the number of people who are only subscribed to the Samaja, and we don't know the number of people who are only subscribed to Daritri, because these 15 people who are subscribed to both papers, that 15 is a part of this 70, and it's also a part of this 35. So here's how you might first try to find the number of people who are subscribed to one of these two papers. You might say, okay, 70 people are subscribed to the Samaja. So let's count them, 70. Then you might say, 35 people are subscribed to Daritri. All right, so let's add those in to the count. Then, since those are the only papers we're considering, that must be the number of people subscribed to a paper. So you'd say, all right, that's 105. And how many other people are there in the village? 150 minus 105. I'll write this where uh, this is the wrong answer, by the way. So we'll write it in pink over here. So it is kind of out of the way and stands out. So 150 minus 105, 45. You say that's the answer. And that reasoning is incorrect. Perhaps you can see why, based on what I said just a moment ago. The problem is that these 15 people who are subscribed to both papers, they're getting counted twice in this arithmetic. This group of 70 people who are subscribed to the Samaja counts these 15 people who are subscribed to both papers. Similarly, these 35 people who are subscribed to Daritri also includes these 15 people. So we've double counted this particular group. This is a specific example of what's called the inclusion-exclusion principle. We've included these people twice. So to correct our count, to correct our answer, we've got to subtract them from our count. How many times should we subtract them? Well, we do want to count them, but we've counted them twice. So we want to subtract them just once. So if we do a little bit of erasing here, 70 plus 35 that's the number of people who are subscribed to the Samaja or subscribed to Daritri, but with this 15 counted an extra time. So we just want to subtract that 15 out of the count. And then what will that be? That's going to be 90. 70 minus 35 is 105, minus 15 is 90. So 90 is the correct answer for the number of people who are subscribed to a paper. The question, of course, that we're trying to answer is how many people 
are subscribed to neither paper, which is why to get our final answer, we have to take the number of people in the village, 150, and subtract the number of people who are subscribed to a paper. 150 minus 90, that gives us 60. That is our answer, the number of people who are subscribed to neither the Samaja nor Dorytree. We can see the actual answer is not, not super close to uh, the answer we got at first. So that was, that was pretty darn wrong. Again, this is a specific example of what's called the inclusion-exclusion principle. We're trying to count. If we think of these as sets, which is a, a useful thing to do, we're trying to count the number of people in this set of people who are subscribed to the Samaja and the, with the union of this set, people who are subscribed to Dorytree. We want to count the number of people in the union of these two sets. That's this 90 here. So we count the number of people in this circle, S, which is 70. We add that to the count of the people in this set, D, that 35. But when we do that, we've counted this intersection of people who are subscribed to both papers. We've counted them twice. So we subtract them out once to correct our count. And that's how that works, a pretty basic example of a counting problem. <clears throat> and this is definitely the best, I think, most elegant way to solve the problem. But with counting problems like this, if you're ever having trouble solving it, sometimes it's best to just sort of hanker down and use some algebra, you know, make some symbols to represent the different groups that you're trying to find. Like, you might let S be the number of people who are subscribed only to the Samaja, and D be the number of people who are subscribed only to Dorytree, and then set up some equations based on the information you have. That's a slower approach. It's kind of overcomplicated, but sometimes that's really all you can come up with. I've been in that situation before, and I sort of just, you know, solve some equations until I end up getting the number I want. So if you're having trouble with these sorts of problems, you know, don't be afraid to set up some equations and do some algebra. But whether you're doing that or not, diagrams will often help you visualize what's going on. You know, in this situation, we could see pretty easily we count the people in this set of people subscribed to the Samaja and then count the people in this set subscribed to Dorytree, well we can see we're counting people in the intersection twice and that's a problem. So we have to subtract them out once to get 90 people subscribed to a paper, thus 150 minus 90, that's the number of people who are subscribed to neither paper. And that's the answer. So. I hope this video helped you understand how to solve this basic counting problem where we've got a little bit of overlap. I'll put a similar problem on the screen now, similar to this one, but a little different. So give it a try and let me know how it goes down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Hi.